Okay, just getting back to the Luciferian beliefs, because I just, I just wanted to pick on that quickly. And something you've said regarding what these people do believe is that these bloodlines actually, they, obviously, they think they're super inbred with these beliefs. And they think this, this inbreeding makes them strong, and they think that paedophilia keeps them young, and they think that helping these so-called lizards brings them luck, yeah? Yeah, some of them, uh, Luciferian thing, if you kill your firstborn son, yeah. um, you'll get fortune from the Dark Lord, right? Okay. Um, uh, some of them used to, well, I'm not sure if they do anymore, but they used to uh, drone one of their kids, that are in their family to prove their loyalty, right? And, right. I don't know, they're going to have to all be wiped, though. Like, sure. Sure. it's going gonna, it's gonna to be really sick looking. It's going to look like, okay, first of all, a parasite-hosted human of a lizard is not a human anymore. That thing does not have rights. It is lower than a dog. It begins its life as human, as a murderer. It murdered the previous human. It doesn't think like a human. It has a different train of thought. Um, they're malevolent things. They're going to have to get wiped. And they're going to cry. They're going to, no, please don't kill me. I didn't want to drone this human. The, they're, it's going to look like a nasty death camp or something. But you got to kill these things because <laughs> it's bad. Like, every human on Earth knows what a parasited host is it's it's pretty much just like the Stargate show, the Stargate movie and series. It's kind of like that, but not so much outer space stuff and wormholes and stuff. Just lizards, parasitic lizards that drown your brain. It's disgusting. Sure. Okay, sure. Right, I'm gonna just go now to Dave. Dave, do you want to come in now and ask any questions? No. Uh, what I want to ask you, Donald, uh, when was the last time you actually went back to the Corona station? Have you been? So um, come back was or? Not last night, but the night before. And I was there for about a half an hour. Um, they are just basically telling me, uh, take some stuff back. Don't tell everything. Don't uh, tell about people's individual actions there. Um, disclose it in the right way so you don't cause a panic. Um, so because... Wait. So what you're saying, Donald, is, is that the Illuminati, or the elite as we know it, are scared stiff of the reptilians. They're trying right. to get the, the, the word out through you. Is, is this, would that be the way you're trying to put that, it? That is basically it, but there's also another factor to the equation. There's the dead reanimated clone people. Now, dead reanimated clone people, you don't even have to kill them. You press a button, and uh, they get shut down, like... They're supposedly they have a chip in their head with their consciousness on it. You press a button and they shut off like a light switch. There's no pain, there's no nothing. They just don't want to cease to be existing, right? The thing with real lizard hosts, you actually got to chop that thing's head off to kill it. Shoot it or whatever. They die normal just like everybody else. They don't have superpowers. Um, and they're actually deficient. They're, they're dumber than the original person. Um, they don't have any superpowers. They don't sprout scales. Like... People that tell me that, I'm like, okay, sprouting scales, that would hurt some bad, wouldn't it? And then reverting back to human again, wouldn't those sharp scales leave like a scar somewhere, one scar or anything, right? What do the scales do? Do they retract into the skin? You know, this whole shape-shifting thing was promoted by the lizards and the hosts to throw people off because the whole shape-shift is that the parasitical transfer into the head. So the only way the the only way that they can come up to the come up to the uh, to the surface is by droning somebody, putting a parasite inside the host and then they're working for them yeah. then. Yep, basically well they could walk up to the surface but uh, if they're seen, they're discovered and it's ruined. Like their secrecy is part of a lizard's religion, right? Like uh parasite psychology hide in the shadows and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, they go, they come up underneath the underground bases. The underground bases have connecting tunnels underneath of them and they go way down deeper. And uh, they come up, they have little stairs made for the stupid things and everything. They walk right up and they sit around in the stands with them and everything. It's sick. And uh, they're all over the world. They're, they come up and underneath different parts of the world. Like the Tibetan monks, 
Tibetan monks have been hiding the things to keep them safe. Because um, they say that uh, they're a living, sentient creature and they deserve to live and that God put them here for a reason. What do they do? Oh, they parasite people's heads. Well, they must be doing that for a reason. So it's nature and they should be allowed. Tibetan monks are disgusting. Um, the Dalai Lama knows all about this. The Dalai Lama told him to kill me said he didn't want to be known as a person that went to the colony center, said he didn't want to be known as a person that was involved with real lizards. Um, Tibetan monks are going to have a real bad day at the end of this. Um, so so the, these, the, the, these uh, reptilian lizard things, uh, are they, uh, have they got some real high technology then? Well, the thing is, they're real stupid. They can't invent nothing. Um, real type ones, are real dumb. Real like type two are a little smarter, and real type three are the big things that run the previous two kinds like pets, pretty much. I thought that the first two kinds were the main ones, but the third one is the main one. I thought that the third one was a splice thing when I was a kid, so I didn't even think it was a real thing, but I thought it was just the type ones. But, uh, yeah, they... Oh, man. See, I hate talking about these things. It makes me all edgy because then I picture what they look like. And I guess, oh, man, it's pretty sick. I mean, how tall are they? Um, the, the Type 3s, the, I've seen them, well, let's see. They're taller when they're younger, actually, because they got a real long neck, uh, like a long neck gray-looking alien. Um, I've seen them, big ones are like 8 feet, but it's a lot of neck. Um, as they age, the neck reduces like it shortens and uh they got like a normal size neck towards the end i don't know where all the vertebrae are going but they get shorter uh, um, any any particular color donald a, any particular what Co a color colored skin oh um like a like shark color like grayish bluish some of them even have uh like a slight tiger striping on their on their skin, on their back and stuff, the type threes. Uh the type ones are covered in scales, red scales, like diamond shaped scales. Uh, did any of these uh, uh lizards have um, wings? Um they've tried to say that they've had wings, uh but that was they they put wings on one. They were they were telling me all kinds of different things. They were showing me different ones with uh two toes, ones with three toes, and then they're trying to throw me off by telling me that this uh spliced other thing is also a creature from down there and it's a big hierarchy down there they just tell me a lot of uh bs right i, w I wonder donald if you've seen any other aliens any greys or any other type of alien um well, See, what, you're, what, 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 what you're talking about now it doesn't seem to be part of the military industrial complex i mean there's, there's underground bases where there's supposed to be super soldiers genetically modified people and, oh yeah, yeah. Well, they're different floors um, yeah like, say, in Dulcie Base, uh, you have an entire floor devoted to cloning. You have an entire floor devoted to uh, mine stuff, mine tech, and an entire floor devoted to gene splicing, right? Yeah. But the cloning floor is the one that has, like, the big auditorium and the seating and the arena and stuff for, like, the death sports and stuff. They used to make me sword fight a lot out there, did a couple spear fights and stuff. Um just a lot of fighting, like death sport stuff, and they all just sit around and watch. They, they told me to watch uh, The Hunger Games. They said, uh, it's kind of like it. I didn't watch it. They, they make all the movies. They own all the movie stations, right, or all the movie companies. Elizabeth herself secretly owns, like, movie companies and music companies. So do you, do, you, do, you, do you think that the actual, uh, the people who are fighting, and, uh, you know, the clones and everything like that, that they're actually getting some sort of a buzz out of raising the fear levels within the people in the auditorium. Um, sometimes the they do that. They've, they've, they've done it so much um, that they discover through trial and error how to psychologically make th the desired effect happen, like in record time. Like Stockholm Syndrome on a kid, they can put that on a kid like in record time. They know exactly what to do and say. Yeah. Um, they got the brain down, totally, mapped out totally. They said it's so big they can't see it all, they don't, they don't discover it. They know everything about it now. The, what they're trying to do now is add stuff to the brain, technology to the brain, to augment intelligence, like they have the brain inside and out now.
like an interface, something with an interface with the brain, like a, yeah. like a, some sort of consciousness chip. But the thing is, uh, I mean, what excites these reptilians? What, what's it all about for them? Okay. There must be well, there must be a payoff for them somehow. Well, the just thing food. I can I can tell you about the whole lizard Atlantean thing. Uh, lizards did something to Atlantis, like. Uh, Atlantis used to be called Thule, T-H-U-L-E, and they had some pretty good technology. They had saucers and everything, and uh, uh, I don't know a lot about it, but they had a base in Antarctica. Yeah. Um, I know about they, this. They abandoned it, right? Yeah. Um, Hitler had heard that there was some kind of magic power in Tibet. He went to Tibet. Met, uh, the Tibetan monks, the main ones, and they introduced them to the lizards. The lizards can talk, <laughs> basic speech, and uh, they sound like they follow helium, um, the small ones, the first type ones. So they told him uh, there's some kind of uh, base down in the on the south pole there. They showed him on a map and uh, said it's there. There's something underground there that uh, the ancients had, and the magic, and this and that. And uh, Hitler went there, found it, took it all back. Um, he was uh, down with this society called the Vril Society, too. Um, That's right. They droned people in the past. Now, he was so appreciative of uh, the Vril Society's help. They, they were basically sneaking around droning people. Uh, he was so appreciative of the Vril Society's help and the Vril Lizard's help in helping him find all this technology, this abandoned technology, that he started calling the saucers uh, the Vril, the Vril Type 1 or the Vril Hymer or whatever right. after, yeah. after them. And uh, this super power, these super people that are supposed to be underground, um, highly evolved and everything, it's just the stupid lizards. They were just talking up the stupid lizards to make them feel good. Oh, you mean Al Gafa and the, the sense yeah. of the earth? It's, it's yeah. the hollow earth theory and that, yeah. It's lizards. Like, lizards didn't even know how to turn the technology on. They, they, <laughs> they don't know how to make nothing. They got claws, right? They couldn't use instruments and stuff. They're really dumb and they're really sad about it. And they get really emotional about it. Um, just getting back to the Pope scenario then. There's a lot of there's a lot of um, there's a lot of theories around this Pope resignation thing going back to black popes. This has all been designed. This has all been orchestrated. It's all meant to happen. The fact that the Pope is now resigning has all been there planned from the beginning. The fact that he's had these Nazi ties has all been in there so that we could get rid of him for a certain reason. Uh, just your your views on that, really? Yep. Well, it's all set up. Um, he was supposed to step down in this prophecy or something um, and the new pope's name somehow translates out to this Petrus Romanus guy and mm -hmm. see some of the Illuminati people uh, the heads of certain religions like and different ones too they aren't even supposed to like each other they're kind of united in this thing um, and they call themselves the Pharisees right? right. And I didn't even know what that was I, I didn't even know what that was. I thought it was like something to do with pharaohs or something. But uh, they're like, nope. We kind of uh, ensure that uh, religion stays viable by uh, making stuff in the prophecies come true, right? Like flooding of New York with right. uh, the harp technology and the storm. That was all intentional. And and we've got this, this so-called Nostradamus thing where, 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 where apparently in the Nostradamus series it shows you these kind of two towers and then we get the 9-11 type thing scenario, yeah? Yeah. Um, so they're actually trying to make things fit into these Nostradamus four seizures. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, they want uh, revelations and stuff to come true. Um, I wasn't sure if they wanted the bad ending or the good ending. Well, that's where Project the Blue Bean comes in, isn't it? Yeah, they can put uh, illusions in the sky and stuff, but they were that uh, blue beam thing where they were going to put images of uh, different deities in the sky and stuff. That was a a host idea. See, no one would go for that. Like oh. everybody would know it was some kind of a manipulation, and uh, so they scrapped that plan. They're not going to put uh, pictures of uh, God oh, in the sky. Go for alien fly sources, probably, won't 